Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to share with you guys ways that you can use napkins for inexpensive fall DIYs. So let's get into the video. For this first DIY, I'll be using one of these Dollar Tree wooden crates. I've already painted it, but I'm going to be painting it white because we're gonna be using some napkins. And honestly, I don't really know any other color that would look good unless the napkin background was different. So I went to Shipshawana in Indiana. It's like a craft show slash junk flea market type thing. And these people had brand new napkins and plates and things like that. So I picked up all of my napkins there. They were all really inexpensive. They're from 75 cents all the way to $1.50 a pack which I think is honestly a steal. They had so many fall ones. So this is just one of them that I picked up. I think all of these in this video actually are from Shipshawana. I did do a napkin video last year where I used Dollar Tree and Walmart napkins. And I will link that in the description box below if you guys want to come up with some or, you know, see some other ideas. I am not the best at this. So let's just say that this is fully for inspiration, but I think this one turned out cute. You could really cut the holes and make this look more like a crate, but I thought this was so cute. I didn't even want to mess it up because I just really love these pumpkins. And then I just threw some burlap pumpkins in here from Dollar Tree and that was all I did for this one. This video is sponsored by Blue Land. They have created non-toxic and planet-friendly cleaners and hand soaps. They are created in reusable forever bottles. And to make the cleaner, all you have to do is fill these bottles up with warm water. And as you can see here, I'm using the Clean Essential Blue Land Kit. And fill these up with warm water and then you all you have to do is drop in a tablet of concentrated cleaning ingredients. These products are safe for use, super convenient and affordable. I love that they are affordable. These little tablets cost $2 or even less if you buy them in bulk. It can be about $1.55 per tablet which is so inexpensive for cleaning products. I know that I usually purchase cleaning products and they can be from four to $5. And if you've seen in the background while I was filling these bottles up, I also have a Blue Land foaming hand soap in the background. That is just how much I use these. I love these products. And I think these spray bottles are amazing. I don't know what it is. Sometimes uh, you don't get like that nice, like smooth spray. I don't know, it's kind of sounds silly, but I love that. Um, if you guys, if you want to check out Blue Land, all you have to do is click my link below to get 15% off your first kit. And by the way, Blue Land was on Shark Tank. I don't know if you guys watch Shark Tank or not, but it is one of my favorite shows to watch. And if you guys want to guess right, uh, Mr. Wonderful is my favorite. But you guys, if you want, like I said, check out Blue Land. Use my link in the description box below to get 15% off your first kit. Next one, I'm just going to be using a sign from Dollar Tree. I think this was last year. If you have any pumpkin signs, grab them now. Do not buy more. When I checked Dollar Tree, they had so many cute items already made. I felt like it was so hard to like purchase any of them this year because I wouldn't want to redo them in any sort of way. But then I also don't want to decorate them with any sort of way. So anyways, went with one from last year and this thankful napkin with these pumpkins. And I just trimmed it down a little bit and added it to the center of this pumpkin. I'm using Mod Podge for all of these. And I'm sure there's different ways uh, that I'm not doing correctly. Uh, one, I will never take a lighter and light these up no matter what. I am terrified I will burn the house down. It sounds like something that I would do. I have flooded our kitchen. I have glued my foot to the floor. Uh, I mean, there's just been, there's just been a few things that uh, I, and then I think I almost cut my finger off with a saw once. So you know what? We're not going with lighters. I will just use a little sanding block from Dollar Tree to sand anything down. Obviously this one was not needed, but I'm just also mod podging over the top so this would not come off or tear as easily. And then it did bubble just a little bit uh, and kind of like crinkled. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ways to get those little crinkles out um, easier than what I did. Uh, I think someone said an iron too, but I'm just like going to not use heat and not use fire. So maybe I don't have any options if I don't use those two things. Uh, I'm just using some antique wax by Waverly and dry brushing this. I also used Waverly chalk paint and white to paint the pumpkin, but you could use whatever white you have on hand. 
Now I'm just using some twine. I just wrapped the stem up and my lighting is a little bad in here because the sun kept peeking through my windows and then kind of going away and I had a ton of shadowing and I couldn't get it to work. I also just ended up using a little boxwood greenery and tying the bottom with twine. I'm going to be using a mason jar and this really cute napkin. I love this little cornucopia with all these pumpkins and I'm just using a ton of Mod Podge to put these napkins on to this mason jar. So this looks really bad. I was shocked that it didn't turn out as bad as what it looks now because when I was like putting the Mod Podge over the top and I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is not looking good. Like there's so many wrinkles and creases and places I forgot Mod Podge towards the top. I mean, granted, the top does not look the best, but uh, I just added some twine. But anyways, this looked terrible when I was Mod Podging and it actually turned out to be really cute. So uh, I was glad that when it dried, it did not look the way it did when it was wet. And I just used one napkin for this, tore the plies out. I think these were all only like two plies. So I just had to tear one little area um, away from the napkin. Uh, and I think in my last napkin video, I did not do that, but they still somehow worked in my favor. So this is what it looks like when it's dry. Yes, I have a good side. Yes, I have a bad side. And it's totally okay because there's always going to be a backside to your project. So one side's not good, just make it the back side. And then I found these really cute pumpkin picks from Walmart, 98 cents, and I threw three in here. This looks so stinking cute. I, I love this one. I'm using these 99 cent wood pieces from Michaels and these napkins right here. So this is what the back looks like. It says greenhouse and I did, I did not pay that price, uh, but I love this fall market one and I'm just trying to figure out how to get it inside of this wood piece. Now I'm showing you literally everything. I'm not being hard on myself. I'm not being a Debbie Downer. Uh, sorry if your name is Debbie. Uh, but these did not work. I don't know what I could have done to make the edges look nicer. I did. I'm just taking some tw uh, rope. It looks like twine afterwards. And I just like unraveled it a little bit and placed it around the edges just because I couldn't get all of the napkin away from. And then it started tearing and these look really cute. I actually love these in my tear tray. Do not get me wrong, but uh, I probably will never put napkins inside of something ever again. But this is what it looks like. I think this one turned out cute. You can tell a corner is a tiny messed up. And then when that one was done, I'm like, let's go for a second round. Let's just try this napkin out. I love this one. I actually use this napkin two times in this video and I do have more ideas. So if you guys end up liking this napkin decoupage type video, uh, like I said, I'm no professional whatsoever. So I'm sure there's a lot of uh, eye rolling and cringing and <laughs> all the things. But I actually had a really, like, I had a lot of fun doing this because it's not something that I normally do. So it's trial and error all the time when you craft. Throw in some Mod Podge over the top. This napkin, I did not cut down that well because I'm like, I think if there's more napkin, then once I use my sanding block to sand, once the Mod Podge is dry, it will come off a lot easier. Wrong, it didn't. It came out a lot worse. So maybe even like measuring and cutting to size would work a lot better in the end. Uh, but I just kind of want to show you what worked for me and obviously what did not work for me. And then I just did the same method with that rope once again. This is me sanding and you're going to see here in a second that it was like I tore this little napkin to shreds like I and then I ripped it and all the things but this one still turned out really really good and I like that wood color without paint without all of it so you see here that I did not paint but maybe if I painted it would also uh, cover just a little bit of my flaws but this rope did the trick. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then one last thing for this, these burlap pumpkins from Dollar Tree are so cute. So I just added one to the corner because that corner was not working in my favor whatsoever. But I'm so glad I added that cute little burlap pumpkin. I think you do so many fun things with these little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. easy one i just use this ceramic little plate it has a stand on the back so i've never seen these but these are so cute and of course we're gonna throw a napkin on top of this because let's just see what kind of trouble i can get into using ceramic now this actually turned out really cute i'm so happy with this one and like i said all these napkins just came from this vendor that had napkins and plates so i'm not sure where a lot of these came from but I'm sure you can find some super cute ones at Walmart and Dollar Tree when they come out. They just don't have any in my stores at the moment, which it's the beginning of August and we have no fall napkins. What are we going to do? How are we going to have Thanksgiving dinner without napkins in August? last one I was going to do a different type of DIY project so I painted this little wood house white this was actually from Walmart after Mother's Day I was going to do a whole video on Mother's Day items and I never did uh, but I've started to paint this house white and then it just kind of sat here I have three more that are just painted white sitting around I decided to use this napkin once again because I thought this one was cute and plus this napkin kind of looks super cute on this house so Mod Podge, and then once that was dry, I just took my sanding block once again and made this a cute little three-tier tray decor piece. Or you could add it to a shelf. You could really add it whatever you want. I have four tier trays that I plan on decorating this year. Let me know if you guys are tier tray lovers and want to see some uh, decorating videos for those. Guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas, whether you are professional or not. <laughs> um, and if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out Blue Land. And all you have to do is click my link below in the description box to get 15% off your first kit. That is it, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.